Hey everyone, today we're unboxing and getting the first impression of the brand new Inspiron 14 2-in-1. Now, Inspiron has recently gone through a brand update to make it easier for the public and the consumers to better understand their range. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at this device and we're gonna see what's good about it, what's bad about it, and we're gonna have a quick overview of the branding so you are aware of what device you should go for. So, let's get on with the unboxing, shall we? Should have really come prepared for this. But you know me, every single time I make one of these videos, never have all the tools I need. So as you open it up, you're welcomed with the power brick and the plug socket. So in this version of the um, Dell machine, you still get the pin charging port. So I would like to see that change to the USB-C as you know everything is moving over to. And then if we pull out this barrier over here, just remember all this cardboard that you're seeing here is actually recycled cardboard, so it's eco-friendly as well. This allows us to pull out the main device. So as normal inside the box, you have minimal uh, safety guidelines. So I'll move that all out the way. So this is the Inspiron model number 5410. It's the two in one model. Tape it down here. Now already first impressions look very good. Honestly, from looking at it right now, while it's inside the packaging still, to me, it looks like the old XPS two in one that was out in 2018. So this Inspiron 14, Now I'm not expecting the material to be anything posh or fancy because again, it's still a kind of mid-range device. Oh, oh, but it feels, it feels premium. It feels, it feels nice. What's going on back here? Okay, that's pretty cool. So we've got a couple of exhaust vents over here and a few, I'm going to bring that closer so you can have a look. So it's got some kickstands up here to elevate it to give the user some better airflow when they've got it placed flat. You've got speakers along the bottom over here. Inspiron branding on the bottom right there. And of course the Dell logo on the top there. I'm actually liking how this feels right now. It feels quite premium for what it's meant to be. So let's open it up. Oh, that does feel premium. I like that. I like that a lot. That looks professional. This looks clean. This looks amazing. I love how this looks right now. So, as you can see, it's got the Intel i5 uh, 11th gen processors and it's running uh, Intel's Iris graphics, which is awesome. Uh, you'd also notice that uh, Dell have moved away from the power button being along the side of the machine. It's now on the top right here. That's where the power button is now. And if I turn this, a bit more you'll be able to see that there's actually a lift that happens due to the hinge so if i close it you'll see it drop back down again right and then if we lift up it just pushes the device up now that's to create airflow between the bottom there's an accelerometer within this machine that can tell whether it's on a flat surface sorry it can tell whether you're holding the device in your hand or whether it's um, in a steady place and if it is in a steady place it will give you optimum performance if you are moving around with it it will ensure that the device doesn't get too hot as you're using it so let's see 
actually before I turn it on because in all honesty when you turn the machine on they're pretty much all the same inside except Dell machines do come with a few features uh, that are very useful or what they like to call Dell solutions so Dell Mobile Connect and Dell Cinema um, which I've made a video on I'll link it up here um, what I want to know is what is upgradable in this machine so if you buy this machine, you're gonna to wanna to keep it for a while, right? You're not gonna to wanna to change it in one or two years. So I wanna open this up and see what's upgradable inside here. Uh, before we do that though, let's check out how it looks as a two-in-one. So if we just keep an eye on the hinge, you can see that this beautiful hinge right here is actually fairly sturdy. Now, what I like about this device, it's got minimum bezels all around. So I can see a black bar here. I've not turned it on, but I can see a little black bar here. But other than that, it's got a three-sided narrow border bezel. And that looks amazing. Like, I'd be more than happy to use that. That looks amazing. This feels amazing. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about that in a second, what I just found there. Um, so yeah, tent mode. The hinge is more than strong enough to hold itself up. It is a great device, I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks fabulous, it looks amazing. You've got your uh, 3.5 mil headphone jack, USB type B, USB 3 port over here, a micro SD port over there. And if we turn it around, You've got your charging port, HDMI port, USB type three again, and a USB type C. So all the connectivity you would ever want, you have it on this machine. So let's go back to what I found on the camera. So let me bring it closer. So right here, there's a little ridged uh, feeling that there you go, you can see it there now. So now you can move this ridge left and right. Now there, the camera is open. That is the camera shut. I'll get you guys a better shot of that. So if you just move this left and right, you can open and close the shutter for the webcam. That's a great privacy feature right there. And it's so hidden, it's built into the device. You can't, you can barely tell it's even there. Like you can simply just, that, I, I like that a lot. The fact that it's a mechanical shutter for your camera, you know it's working. The fact that it's not a button I need to press to turn it off and on means no one else can control that. Only I, the user, can control whether that's open or closed. That's a great feature, I like that a lot. All right, let's get to opening the machine. Uh, all right, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws that you need to undo. Now just pry your way through the side of the machine to just get rid of all the catches, just so you make sure that you don't break off. If you've got prying tools, this will be the time to use it. There we go. So that's this machine opened up. So what we have here is your 50 watt hour battery over here. You have your RAM slots over here, which you can upgrade. So if you want to upgrade your RAM, you're more than welcome to. This right over here is your M.2 port, your PCI port, your NVMe port, whatever you want to call it. And I believe that's all you can upgrade on here. So you can upgrade your RAM and your storage. And it's running SSDs on here, so it's going to be a fast machine. I believe that's it. That's your Wi-Fi card. Yeah, so you can upgrade your RAM. So you got both your RAM ports over here. So you can upgrade your RAM, you can upgrade your SSD, and that's pretty much it. You have enough customization over here to keep this machine going for a while. So that's useful to know. So let's close this back up. So to close it back up, you simply just place it back on. Let the clips do their work. So 
So that is the Inspiron 14 2-in-1. Now, if you want me to test anything on this machine or you want me to do anything in particular with this machine, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a comment telling me what you want me to test out on this machine. Um, so yeah, for now, that's about it. So my first impressions of this machine, the quality of it is premium. The design of it is lovely. And I would 100% recommend this for anyone that wants portability, functionality, and something that will provide you great performance. I know it's got great performance already because it's running the Intel i5 uh, 11th gen and it's running, it's got Intel Iris on it and it's running with an SSD inside it. So I'm more than confident that this is gonna perform as all Dells have done in the previous uh, models when they had great specs like this. So any questions, just ask me down below and yeah, more videos to come. So stay tuned, catch you on the next one. Bye.